investigate them. The officers go on to say the evidence used against them was fabricated. Allison Northcott has the story. The two former Montreal police officers, Jimmy Caccioni and Giovanni DeFeo, alleged that they were looking into allegations within the Montreal police force of corruption, including the possibility that some officers may have been receiving money from the mafia. They say uh, when they tried to come forward with those allegations, they then became the target of an internal affairs investigation. And they say that that internal affairs investigation was based on evidence against them that was fabricated by internal affairs. The officers were suspended, but they were never charged. They also faced disciplinary measures, but those were dropped as well when they agreed to step down from their jobs in 2014. The officers say that they were whistleblowers who were trying to take serious allegations to high-ranking officers, and they say it's unfair that they were then called out as bad guys in this situation. Chief of Police Philippe Pichet, he says that he's called on the Quebec Provincial Police to look into this matter. Opposition parties are calling for an independent investigation. Investigation. They say it's not enough to have police investigating police. Montreal's police union say that the response from the public security minister to problems within the Montreal police force has been insufficient. They're calling for the minister to do more. Alison Northcott, CBC News, Montreal. The government of Newfoundland and Labrador is slashing almost 300 jobs in its civil service. The cuts are in management and 90 of the positions are already vacant. Finance Minister Kathy Bennett says the move will save as much as $25 million a year. We realize that this is a very difficult time for people who are impacted by the new management structure. This decision was not an easy one. It was very difficult, as many tough decisions had to be made. However, 